I guess if I have an affinity for anything, it's baby calves. Yeah. That's your future. Your, your kids are your future. Your dairy cat, your calves are your future. And that's where things head that way. And I've learned over the years that you want to take care of those calves. For example, I'm just going to start with the dry cows. Uh, a cow that's dry is a cow that you take off of lactation so she can have her calf. And you want to take her, care of her nutritionally. You want to feed her the right nutrition so when she has that calf, she's healthy and the calf is healthy. Where we calve the cows out and the heifers when they calve, we keep fresh water in front of them all the time, a good feed. That way they're taken care of, they're not overcrowded. You want to make sure you get colostrum in these animals early. You, know, you want to get them, we, we put them in the heat lamps in the winter, we put them in shade in the summer, get them dried off, and then move them to the, these, these individual hutches. It's clean and it's dry. Uh, their contact is, it's minimal because they don't want to, you don't want to spread disease, but everything's a clean, sterile environment. They got fresh water every day, they got fresh milk twice a day. Their eyes, maybe their eyes are a little glazed. Uh, we look at their stools to see where their stools are at, if they're loose or not loose. If they have a cough in the lungs, if their lungs are working too hard. Those are things we look at here, mainly. And they go from here uh, to a, it's no different than a playpen, I guess you could say. take care of that cow, you you're, you're lose your productivity, you don't have a business, you don't have a life. Your, our way of life goes away. That cow right there produces nature's most perfect food. Milk is the most perfect food.